We've all been there. A client supplies a file to be separated and printed, or we find a perfect image online only to discover that a simple spot color vector file has been incorrectly saved as a JPEG, PNG, or a TIFF. Now a job that should have been fast and easy turns into a complex time consuming project. Not anymore though. Freehand Separation Studio along with Adobe's Image Trace feature solves that problem. In this video, I'll focus on solid spot color art files saved in popular formats such as a JPEG, PNG, or a TIFF. Image Trace will deliver better quality results for images saved at higher resolutions. The files in this video were saved at 300 dpi, which is common for many images downloaded from online art services. Open the file in Adobe Illustrator. If the image opens small, I recommend scaling up to full chest size before tracing. Illustrator tends to give better results to larger images. Do the same for a small print such as a left chest. Scale it up, trace it, and then scale it back down to print size. With the image selected from the window menu, choose Image Trace. I find setting the mode to color and palette to limited works well for my needs as a screen printer. Setting colors to double my press size leaves plenty of room to accurately convert most images. I'll set the color limit to 12 for my 6 color press. Image trace will stop when it no longer finds colors. In many cases it will not produce up to the amount of colors set. Extra colors can be quickly merged in Sep Studio. Adobe's default setting for this feature do a nice job on most images. Further control can be gained by expanding the advanced section helping you make adjustments fast and easy. Click the preview box to instantly see the results of changes to adjustments or leave it off and click when you're ready. Do you want to see the original file versus the newly traced file? Just click and hold the eye icon to switch between the two views. Let's take this lesson a bit further. We are screen printers and we often print white in an image, but we don't always want white in the background. By default, Adobe's image trace includes the white in the color conversion which is great, but this can also mean there's a big white background surrounding the image which we do not want. I'm going to show you how to handle this though. From the object menu, choose Expand. This exposes the vectors. I'll create a square in the background for you to more easily see what we're addressing. Now you can see the background area I want to remove. Using the white direct selection arrow, I'll choose the surrounding background white and delete it. I'll also delete the square I made for this demonstration. That's it! Once the file looks good and ready for you to bring it to Sep Studio, just save it as a PDF and open it up in the software. In Step Studio 4, you can make an underbase, choke and spread, set the image print order with PressFit, and then go directly to print. That's how you turn an incorrectly saved file into great separations, turning a zero into a hero. Freehand and you, together, we got this.